good afternoon. Happy Mother's Day. So this will be the Mother's Day reading. I'm sorry it's a little late today, Libras. We got some family energy, <laughs> that type of energy. Welcome back to the video. Happy Mother's Day to all you beautiful females on Libra Light. You guys have been some of the great supporters of the channel, like keep it pressing with the personals and even just with all the support on here daily you guys are like the backbone of libra light thank you so much happy mother's day to you and hello to all your kids at home i did do a little meditation there were only two cards that wanted to speak so whatever the title is today will reflect the feelings in today's video welcome back we do have i know you can't see them libra this is a very dim room so we have the Empress, and the Empress is this very beautiful songstress siren here as a mermaid, of course, because we are using the mermaid oracles. You show up right out of the gate. Um, I did ask to clarify the past. So here in the past, you're showing up as the Empress, very beautiful. Um, I found it coincidental that it's Mother's Day, and that's your major arcana. So let's discuss here, because you have sort of a not really a typical partnered card with the Empress. We have Temperance, and this is a Sagittarian, okay? Around you has influence. Some of you could possibly be speaking to a Sagittarius at this time. You could be speaking to a fire sign because Sagittarius falls within that family. So I just wanna go uh, deeper and see what else is going on in the reading. You know, we are curious little kittens. Let's find out why the Empress is here in the past, please. Show me Libra. Major Arcana today on Mother's Day 2023. Show me the Empress. Too much. I'm only going to take the two that are flipped over here. So that's a little too much for me. Mm -hmm. So the two here are the Four of Pentacles. There you go. We could be holding on to just a little bit of something from the past, okay? But I'm going to explain what the Four of Pentacles is. And we also have the Emperor. So we have a counterpart here. We have someone that matches us. I kind of feel like a lot of you, you're speaking to somebody new, okay? They're fiery, they match you, they're matching the energy as well. And today on a Mother's Day type of reading, this is very rare to see the Empress and the Emperor come out. They are a true soul divine pair. Are they a Sagittarius? Are they an Aries? So we're going to find out who these folks are. Let's go with that Sagittarius card again. This is Temperance. This is your balance. You, Libra, can also be doing this in your life. And I feel like such a major shift has happened with your cards. The last maybe two weeks, you're bringing in new energy and it's nonstop. There is a definite shift in attitude or your perspective has changed over something. It's showing up in the last few readings. Um, I would say Thursday night, something really sparked a change, especially on the channel. Like you're still resonating with the readings, but they're different cards. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, y'all get what I'm saying? So let's go with this. Let's see who the Sagittarius is or this energy. Thank you. So we have three flippers here. They could be someone who is willing to work with you with the three of pentacles. So she's here with the lily pads. She's having herself a time. She's kind of bathing in the lily pads as well. This person is not only offering um, a complete source of happiness for you, willing to work with you, willing to go through the ins and outs. They're already presenting that right off the bat with this Sagittarian energy. Very understanding too. I feel like for you females that are talking to a Sagittarius, I feel like this is a Libra Sag reading. They're very willing to work with you on certain things that you thought were impossible. I do want to say that here because I'm already seeing a very willing energy also to make your dreams come to light as well. We also have here the nine of pentacles. This person was single and they were very focused on themselves. Uh, they were focused on their career, on having some abundance here for themselves, but they are willing to work with you. So the three of pentacles, nine of pentacles is a cool energy because I feel like this person was fine being single. Show me a little bit more of this empress energy coming out for Mother's Day for my males and my female Libras. Ace of Wands, thank you. Wands on the ground. <laughs> Show me the empress, thank you. So we have the six of cups. Yeah, excuse me. Excuse me, I gotta bend down to get your card. So we have this another six, the Ten of Cups. Okay, so wish fulfillment, happiness. This person wants to work together to make you happy. Um, it's what I'm hearing is like whatever it takes, whatever it takes to make the Libra happy. You do have like a soul tie here with the Six of Cups card. That can be a soul bond that's forming or you feel like you know each other from the past. And some of you might think that you signed a contract with this person long, long ago. So you're starting to fulfill that now. The Ace of Wands is their next actions toward you, okay? It's fiery, 
It's creative. It can come up with an idea. I feel like they're coming up with ideas to share with you, Libra. Like just right off the bat, this person's super excited. They can be an Aries. They can be another Libra with the Empress card. They can be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, emphasis on Scorpio. And we can also have a Sagittarius here. Those are the signs showing up or a Capricorn Taurus Virgo with the Four of Pentacles. But I think this is someone's old energy, okay? Is Libra the Four of Pentacles, please? Thank you is Libra the Four of Pentacles on this Mother's Day reading. Thank you. So it is you. The Four of Pentacles is you holding on to the past. This could be your higher self here, and this can be your future self. And they're kind of, they're fighting right now for a chance to just be new, okay? Um, this is beautiful energy because either way, Libra, you're showing me new stuff here. You're showing me something new to see, and even in readings, like this was never your energy before. So I think that you're taking a chance on yourself and you're betting on all things new, okay? However exciting, however dull some of the days might be, I think you're just betting on whatever is new in your life. Uh, Four of Pentacles seems like it's just going to be swifting past you here. Um, it, someone's throwing it away in a trash can. We also see the Knight of Cups, okay? This Knight of Cups is going to be bringing romantic offers in the next couple of weeks. I feel like you're going to be an empress for the next few weeks too. You're going to be looking good. You're going to be very beautiful. I think you're going to have a lot to offer others as well as far as maybe helping people out. Um, also, maybe sharing your journey and how you've overcome things. Maybe someone else needs to hear that right now. Uh, and you could even be sharing in a family setting today as you see some of your friends and folks. One fell down here. And I, I looked down and you have the four of wands so again you have a commitment energy i'm using a weird table today i probably shouldn't have been in this room but the four of wands is their ideal situation with you is there a talk that's going to happen here there is a lot of new love energy and i think that this person genuinely wants to take care of you at this time we do have again sagittarius taurus virgo capricorn with the four of pentacles you have all of the wands family here aries leo sagittarius you do have one cancer pisces scorpio there's a little bit of a lingerer here uh, with the Ten of Cups, but I think that that's your, just your general energy and your goal setting at this time to reach for the Ten of Cups, to go after your happiness, finally. Thank God. <laughs> All right, we're going to post this reading and then we're going to go into a recent past and what's coming up reading coming up next. Happy Mother's Day.